y'all. Hey, hey, y'all. Hey, hey, y'all. Hey, it's your girl A. So, okay, first of all, let me just say this. I am so excited about this video, you guys. Now, for one, y'all know, like, forever. I have, not forever. Like, I'm exaggerating, but, like, long enough, I have had issues with my own teeth. Like, straight up, my own teeth, okay? I've had a gap to where my teeth kept spreading. Then my teeth started falling out. So, I do have, like, a lot of dental work in my mouth. But, let's just be honest. I'm not really still happy 100% with my teeth. And that's okay because that's just it's okay nobody's perfect and that's just okay but okay so look i got some i'm about to have some new teeth and they're not gonna be permanent but you know when i feel like i want to look like a little when i feel like i want to have a little razzle dazzle going on girl like you know what i'm saying that i could just pop these babies in and go about my business pioneer veneers reached out to me and girl y'all you know i was like yes hunties yes i definitely want to do this video i've been waiting for some veneers for like forever especially the kind that you could just like take in and out the ones that i already have in my mouth are not veneers they're crowns so the teeth that are in my mouth now are my own teeth and also crowns so they don't come out they're not on just the front they're covering the entire tooth front and back um the only thing that i really wasn't too pleased about getting when i got my crowns done was you know you have to shave your teeth down to like little rice grains but they do last a good time and you know i do like them but my bottom teeth are starting to move they're starting to shift and i did want to get the bottom teeth done because i do notice that now there are spaces and there are spaces due to the fact that sometimes when you get your teeth extracted you know removed through sometimes your teeth will shift your teeth will do their own thing sometimes they'll move to the back leaving you with spaces sometimes they'll move forward crowding your teeth so mine is one that moves to the back and that's the reason why i had the gap at first so now that i have gotten my teeth fixed on the front and some on the bottom i still have spaces because i do have empty pockets in my mouth you know but your items your package does come in a manila envelope and it is padded and this has the items the products that you're going to use to get your molding proper okay. so it comes with an order form and this will just have your name and they'll ask you questions like do you have crooked teeth missing teeth how many a gummy smile like girl if you ain't got no teeth at all if you don't know how to use this there also are instructions on the back but better than instructions you can look at one of their youtube videos and it comes with a set of impression kits for the top and the bottom it comes with a cheek retractor optional if you want to use that um, it also comes with three sets of the impressions putty mixture which is blue and white and you do want to mix the blue and white together do say to make sure you clean your hands and make sure they're dry so that's why mine looks a little ashy right now because i did wash and dry them it does give you a step-by-step -step, you know instruction which is awesome ensure that both of your hands and teeth are clean and you want to roll the putty to form a hot dog shape with your fingertip so that way you can place it in the trays now the one thing that i will say that they should have done and this is just in my opinion because i am looking through the instructional manual and it says a pair of percussion trays for your upper row and a pair for your lower teeth now here's my thing okay this is just me you know you do what you like but on the trays i'm looking for the word upper lower and i really would suggest putting the actual upper and lower name it's going to be your upper impression and this is going to be your lower so this is where you're going to put the molding at and like i said you're going to get three of these right here which is the base and the catalyst one is blue and one is white there's three one is for the upper one is for the lower and then you have an extra set so each set you want to mix together so this right here which says base and catalyst i'm going to be mixing them together for the upper tray there are also two others down below for the lower tray and then there's an extra set just in case your molding doesn't come out properly so this is what the molding looks like this is the catalyst and this is the base and i'm going to mix them together for 30 seconds yes you're supposed to mix it together and so you don't see the white color anymore once you're done creating or mixing it together you want to form it into like a hot dog shape so that way it can fit into the tray where you're going to be putting the teeth at i'm just going to set it right into the tray and they do say to keep this in your mouth for three minutes you want to pull your top lip over the tray and bite firmly
there goes my bottom teeth. These came out really nice, okay? I mean, how if I say so myself? So they will see by just from the spaces that I have spaces in my teeth. Um, but now what you have to do is they say that you're supposed to take a impression, take a picture of your teeth, like your own teeth, like a selfie of a direct teeth, smiling from each side as well as these, and you can send it to them and then they will further give you instructions. So I'm not really sure the length of time that it does take. I guess it just depends on the person's teeth and when they get their photos and such in. So with that being said, let's just get into the next part of this video. Hopefully they look great. I'll, girl, listen, I'm excited. So let's just try it. I was so excited to work with this company that you guys seen the first portion of the video. So I finally got my teeth back in. And let me tell you, it was a journey. When I say it was a journey, it was a journey. When they first sent them back to me, for some reason, the mailman didn't want to deliver them. I'm not sure if their address was incorrect or whatever, but they did send them back to the actual company, which is located in Texas. I believe it's Houston, Texas or Texas. I did have to email them. And the young man that I was corresponding with, now mind you, when I did try to first initially call him to let him know that my teeth were being sent back via post office, um, it did go to a voicemail, which was actually a Google phone number. I was kind of like perplexed by that. I was kind of like taking back like an actual business with a Google phone number. That's different, but you know, it is what it is. You can use whatever phone number you want. It's your particular business. So I did send an email and I did let him know. And he did let me know that once they arrived, they would send them right back and they'll make sure the address was correct. Now, mind you, I was sick. I've been sick. I had the flu. So that took a lot out of me. All right. It took me a minute to just recover from that. And and I still feel like, you know, I'm recovering because I haven't done videos in a minute. So, you know, you got to get back in the swing of things. So let me just tell y'all, when I got the teeth, I was so excited because I just was excited. Oh, I could walk around with like a perfect smile. This is how I was feeling. Did try the teeth on and I'm going to try them on for you guys. And I'm going to let you be the judge of it. However, last week I did receive a phone call. Now, mind you, I got a spam blocker on my phone. So if you don't announce who you are, you're not getting through. So the number was weird. It was an area code of 302, said Delaware. It came through. I answered it. It was actually Lewis from Pioneer Veneers. Um, he asked me, did I receive the teeth? I did let him know. Prior to that, I also let him know in email that I received them. And I did let him know, you know, it was on Tuesday. I'll probably be doing some videos Thursday or Friday because I just started feeling better. Now, this was last week. I didn't get around to doing the videos because I still was kind of like under the weather and I just was like irritated. I barely got any sleep. You know, I've been having problems sleeping. So I was just really trying to relax. Now today is Tuesday and I'm sitting ready to do my makeup. I am doing my makeup for videos. I'm watching TV on my phone and I see a number come through and it comes through the spam blocker. It lets it go through. It's a 302 area code. Now mind you, I was like, is this them from Pioneer Veneers? Okay, well I'm in the middle of something. So I declined the call. You can leave a message. Within 10 seconds later, they call back. I declined the call. They call right back. You calling my phone three times in a row. So this time I answer and I don't even pretend to be me. I pretend to be one of my daughters. And mind you, Lewis is on the phone. He's asking my so-called daughter, which is me, when will I be back available? Like all of this, you know. Now let, let me just jump to this. Okay. To me, I find it very rude and disrespectful to be calling somebody's phone back to back to back to back to back when it ain't emergency. If you're not one of my kids and you ain't having an emergency, don't call my phone back to back to back. That's what a text message is for. That's what a voicemail is for. When you're a company, you do not call somebody's phone back to back to back because you don't even know what I could have been in the middle of. Don't you know New York bitches are savages? What was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? I could have been at the school for one of my kids. I could have been in a meeting. I could have been in a doctor's appointment. I could have been sleeping. I could have been doing anything. You don't really know the circumstance. And for you to be a company and to call my phone back to back to back like that shows me that you're real rude and disrespectful, for one. I don't tolerate disrespect. I do not tolerate disrespect. And you're not about to call me back to back to back over these damn veneer teeth. OK, that's not what we're going to do. So let me just put that out there for one that I found it very disrespectful and rude to be calling my phone back to back to back like that. Like you don't do that. All right. It ain't even that important. That's what a voicemail is for. That's what a text message is for. That's what an email is for. And for you to think that I'm my daughter on the phone, you don't ask my whereabouts and when I'm getting back that we're not about to do. OK, I am not married to you, Pioneer Veneers. OK, yeah. now, when I tried the teeth on, I was informed that when you first get them, yeah, they may be a little bit tight. Yeah, they might be a little bit uncomfortable 
uncomfortable because they are snap on veneers and you're not used to it. You need to give them some time to wear in your mouth. I definitely understood that part, okay? I'm not saying I got the best teeth in the world, honey, but I'm gonna just be honest and tell you this. I will rock these till the teeth fall off or the teeth fall out before I wear these, okay? And I'm, this is an honest review. I'm not trying to bash nobody, but I really don't like your professionalism, which was unprofessional. And these teeth are not cheap. And for the quality of them, I'm just gonna say this. They remind me of, you know when you get like Valentine's Day candy and they're on the plastic trays? The quality of the plastic remind me so much of that kind of plastic. I have seen people on here doing veneer reviews for this particular company. And I remember one young lady saying it was $590. $590 where? And that they make them in the lab? Lab where? Where's the lab at? Now, so when they came to me, they came to me in this little tray. They weren't on any cushion. They were just inside of here. And I was like, look, I was so excited to get these. Now, mind you, like I said, I don't have the best teeth in the world. So I'm pretty sure that's the reason why they reached out to me. Then I started feeling insulted. Like, word? Okay. Now, you know, all my top teeth are perfect. My bottom teeth, they have begun to space out. We're just going to put these teeth on and, um, yeah. Now, for one, they don't really fit my teeth, okay? They don't really fit. I can feel there's a gapping right here. And when I noticed what the bottom teeth are, they weren't even straight. So they're very big and, um... I don't know, you guys. So for one, they're very uncomfortable and they're not straight on the bottom. They don't fit. They're very small. They're overly big. Um, the ones on the bottom do not stay in at all. The ones on the top, uh, they're very big right here. There's an opening right here. If you can hear it. They don't sit back. They're just very, very big. And I don't know, I I don't think that I would wanna wear these in public. It's not the fact that, it's making it hard for me to talk for one. And for two, I just don't feel right wearing them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I like the color, don't get me wrong, but I really do want some really nice teeth and I will work on that on my own. But for me, this definitely was a no. I was very disappointed with the teeth itself and also with the actual customer service of the person calling me back to back to back. Now, had they came out right, I might have been okay. And you might think that, oh, they look great on you, April. They look good. But I, would, I, I honestly expected something a lot more sturdier than this type of plastic. It really reminds me of, like, the plastic that Valentine's Day comes on. You know, when you get a candy from Valentine's Day and the chocolates are on a tray and the plastic tray. It reminds me a lot of that type of plastic. You know, when you go to the Dollar Tree and you see like the Dollar Tree teeth, they, they are a lot thicker versus these teeth. Now, I'm in no way, shape or form trying to bash anybody, but I just feel like this. When you pay for the amount that you're paying for any type of snap on teeth, I really feel like the quality should be a lot better than what I am wearing. When I tell you they are very uncomfortable, they are uncomfortable. And yes, it does take some getting used to something. Let, let me just say this. You just gotta be yourself. A person has to like you for who you are. Nobody's perfect. We all have flaws and that is what it is, okay? By all means, do what makes you happy and makes you feel comfortable. Okay. If I was to, you know, listen, it's always about to be honest. I always got to be honest in everything that I do. I'm not about to tell someone, oh, yeah, I really, really love it. Then you go out and purchase it and then you waste your money because I don't want you to do that to me. I'll be really pissed if you did that to me. Now, mind you, the bottom ones, they feel more comfortable than the top. For the price, um, I was expecting a lot more. I was expecting a lot better quality. Now, the bottom ones, they don't look too bad by themselves. It's the top ones that are really big. The bottom doesn't really bother me like that. It's just the fact that they look a little bit like longer in some areas, like more gum is showing than some. But I would wear these just with the bottoms, but they don't match my top feet. And that's one thing that I'm really not happy about. But you know, it is what it is, period. But on that note, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye. Go, go, go. Bye.